Hello everyone and welcome to another devlog video for Homegrown, the casual farming game I'm making using my own engine. And this week I've got three days to implement the compost system. So it's Monday morning, the last devlog video just went out a couple of days ago. And this week on Friday, I'm going to be traveling to the UK. I'm going to see my family who I haven't seen for ages because of the pandemic. So I'm really looking forward to that. But it does mean that I'm on a bit of a tight schedule this week. Uh, because if I want to get a video done, I'm going to need to do the editing for that on Thursday, which means I've only got today, tomorrow and Wednesday to get some programming done. So I'm going to be working on the compost system this week, and obviously I don't have very long, so I'm going to get straight to it. I'm going to work really hard for the next three days and see how much I can get done. So step one, I need to update the rendering of the soil tiles so that they can show how much compost they currently have on them. Um, I can't use the soil color to, to do this because that's already used to indicate how wet a tile is. So instead I'm going to use textures to indicate when uh, there's compost on a tile. So I've just created some test textures here. Um, I'm loading them up as an array texture and then when rendering each soil tile, I just need the index of which texture in the array it should use and uh, I'm just getting that working here. Just been implementing the compost component for the soil tiles. This has a compost amount which is just a number between 0 and 1 indicating how much compost is on that tile. For now I've just set it to a random number and then using that compost amount it chooses the correct texture index to use for that tile. So in the game you can see that all of the soil tiles are now using uh, a random one of those compost textures. Moving on to the compost placing mechanic now, which allows you to select a tile and then place compost in that tile by clicking on it. And then once you've done that, the compost will slowly start to decay and kind of disappear over time. And that's because in the compost, in the compost component over here in the update method, I'm decreasing that compost amount over time. Um, one thing I don't really like about this is how it switches between texture stages. It does that so suddenly and the compost kind of snaps out of existence. So I'm going to try now and smooth out the transitions between the different textures. Coming up to half past 12, just made myself a quick soup for lunch and I've also just got the smooth transitions working. So in the shader code, I'm now using the current texture stage and the next texture stage and then I blend between the two, depending on how far between the two it should be. Um, so in the game, you can see that working here, the compost textures now smoothly blend into each other. To start the afternoon, I've been creating the item that you're going to use to place the compost. Uh, which is this compost bucket here. There are going to be different sized buckets that you can get so you can spend more and get a bigger one so you don't have to refill it so often. And then if I select the bucket in the inventory that then activates the compost placing tool so I can then go ahead and start placing compost. And you can see next to the icon there's a little meter which shows how full the bucket is and every time I place some compost that meter goes down until the bucket's empty then I can't place any more compost and there's currently no way to fill it back up, so that's what I need to implement next. So I've been working on the model for the compost bin next. Uh, this is where you're going to store your compost, and you can see it's got multiple model stages for the various stages of fullness, and uh, in the game I can place it into the garden wherever I want, and currently it, it does nothing, it has no functionality yet, so that's what I'm going to program now. Half past five now, and the compost bin functionality is coming along nicely. I've just been making use of those multiple model stages, so depending on how full the compost bin is, it now displays the relevant model stage. And at the moment, I'm just controlling this manually with the keyboards, uh, but obviously the final step is to get this connected up with the compost placing mechanic and that compost bucket. So, all working now. I've got my compost bucket, I'm going around spreading compost and I've run out, my bucket's empty, but no worries, I can go to the compost bin, I can click on that 
and that fills up my bucket again and also you might have noticed that the level of the compost bin went down and now I can continue spreading out compost. So, really happy with that, good first day of work. I'm gonna get some dinner now, have a relaxing evening and I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Good morning everyone, half past eight on Tuesday morning and uh, yesterday everything was going pretty well but one part of the compost system was still a bit of a mystery and that is where does the compost come from? What happens if your compost bin's empty? How do you fill it up? And there are going to be two ways. Um, firstly, you're going to be able to make your own compost using a compost heap. That's going to be a bit more complicated to implement, so I don't think I have time to do that in the next couple of days, uh, but that will definitely get added to the game at some point. But the other way, which I'm going to be implementing today, is that you can simply buy bags of compost from the shop. So I'm going to get started on that now. So I've just been creating these compost bags, which in the shop you can now buy. And then very simply, I just have to select them in the inventory and I can then click on a compost bin to fill it up with compost. So next, I'm going to be working on adding support for multiple different types of compost. So the reason that I want to have multiple different types of compost in the game is that different composts are going to provide different advantages and disadvantages to the soil and to the plants. Um, I've just been making a list of the sort of effects that a compost could have and then the different composts are going to have different combinations of these advantages or disadvantages. So for the last hour or so I've just been implementing the, the concept of different types of compost into the code and I've added a few into the shop here, um, but that raises the question how to differentiate between the different composts in the game. It's pretty easy to see when they're in item form, but how can you tell what type of compost is when it's in the compost bin or in the bucket or on the soil? And uh, those questions I'm trying to answer at the moment. So the way I'm going to do this is that each compost is going to have a colour associated with it and you can obviously already see that in the icons here but now I'm going to try and introduce that colour into all the other places where the compost shows up and I've been starting with the compost textures on the soil tiles so here you can see the three different types of compost and in each one you can see a bit of the relevant colour showing up in the texture there so that you can see which is which um, obviously still just using test textures here the artwork definitely needs working on but the concept is working fine. Also, these colours get added in the shaders, so the composts are all just using the same texture, the colour gets added automatically. And I'll be implementing something similar for the compost bins next, but first I really want to get outside for a bit and stretch my legs, so I'm going to go for a quick run. Just finished working on the compost bins and I'm really happy with how this turned out. So if I put some compost into the bin, you can see the compost bag gets left next to the bin so that you can see which compost is in it. And the colouring's all done in the shader, um, so I don't have to make new models for each compost type, it, it all happens automatically. Um, you can see I've also coloured the little stones in the top of the compost there. Um, so now I've just got to sort out the bucket. So last but not least, I've got the bucket showing the colour. The only thing I could think of was to show it in the metre, which I'm not particularly happy with. Um, but you can see here, this bucket's got red compost in it. It places red compost. Uh, it will also only let me fill up from the red compost bin. I can't fill up from the other two while there's still red compost in the bucket. But if it's empty, then it will let me fill up with a different type of compost. So ideally, I'd really like to show the compost in the bucket in the icon and then you should be able to see the colour in that compost. Um, but I don't have support for that in the item system at the moment, so that's going to have to wait. Uh, but that's how it will work at some point. Ten past seven now, I decided to order food tonight and that's just arrived, so looking forward to enjoying that in a second. Uh, for the last couple of hours, I've just been trying to set up the compost effects. Had some success but also I got kind of stuck. I think I'm just a bit tired, so I'm gonna have my dinner, get some rest, and then try again tomorrow.
Morning everyone, last day of the three today. I'm looking forward to it. I think there's going to be some fun stuff to implement today. Um, I must admit I did do one more thing last night. I was just a bit annoyed by how very obviously repeating the pattern of the compost texture is. So I did some work in the shaders to randomly rotate and reflect the texture coordinates of each tile and that's now looking a lot more natural. So I'm going to get started and have another go at implementing those compost effects. So the modifier system is pretty much working now, just a few small issues to iron out still, um, but I can demonstrate it for you here. So this is where I'm setting up the compost types, and this is the super compost, which is the red one, and you can see I've added a growth modifier to it and set that to 50. So that's going to make the plants grow 50 times faster, uh, which is a bit excessive, but it's easier to see for the video. So I've got a small patch of turnips growing here, they've just started to grow, and I'm going to get some of that super compost and spread it around and you can see that when I do that the plants instantly start growing much much faster. Just implemented another new modifier which is the dry out modifier which makes the soil dry out quicker or slower depending on which factor I use. So now if I use the super compost it does make the plants grow faster but it also makes the soil dry out faster which means that you have to water the plants more often. Next up I've just been updating the shop descriptions so that they now display the effects so that you know what the compost does before you buy it and don't worry about the, the rather boring formatting all of the UI is going to get a makeover in one of the upcoming updates so it will look nicer then. Just implemented a couple more modifiers and I've made the purple compost into a compost perfect for growing fruit so you can see it makes the, the fruit grow faster, it produces more fruit, but the downside is you have to water the plant more often. And I've just been using that compost to grow these tomatoes here. So hopefully this has all given you an idea of what the compost is going to be bringing to the game. Hopefully it's going to provide the player with some interesting decisions to make, working out which compost works best with which plant, and trying to balance the positive effects of the compost with the negative effects. And of course I'm going to be adding lots more modifiers into the game further down the line. But right now, it's time for lunch. Back to work this afternoon implementing the soil quality health factor. So the health of some plants is now affected by the quality of the soil and you can improve the soil quality by adding some compost. Just added a new item that helps you spread out compost faster. So you can see down the bottom here there's now an extra slot for me to be holding something and that's because if you have enough money you can invest in a trowel and if I equip this it now allows me to place compost in a 2x2 two two area. Um, which means I can spread it out much faster. Four o'clock now, I've just been adding one more item to the game, which is this new container for compost. It's a bit more expensive than the bucket, but it's got a larger capacity, which means that you won't have to fill it up as often from the compost bin. So I think I'm going to finish this video here. Um, I've got a few more things to fix in the code, but there won't be anything more exciting to show you. So. It's been a good three days. I'm really happy with the progress I've made. Obviously, this is only the first iteration of this feature. I'm going to be coming back to it many more times. Lots more to add to improve. Many changes to be made, I'm sure. So if you've got any feedback, do let me know. And uh, when I revisit this feature, I'm sure you'll see some of those changes made. And I'll just put on the screen now a, a list of all the things that I've already got planned for the future for this feature, so that you know the things that I'm already considering. Before I finish, I want to give a big shout out to the top Patreon supporters from last month, who were Adam Farkas, Albert Gutierrez, Alexander Chavez, Alan Lance, Andrew Witt, Busvara Valta, Kathleen Coder, Christopher Poe, Dieter Reinert, George Fedorov, Gregory Horvath, Hagen Vingard, Harry Chung, Yuri Kralovec, John Needham, Josiah Hillman, Leandro Di Pietro, Marek Mikolajczyk, Mario Martins, Neil Blakey Milner, Sean McCrory, Seven Sign Bits, Simon Gander, Thomas Johnson, Timothy Gibbons, and Vladislav Dohadayev, so a massive thank you to you guys and of course to everyone else supporting me over on Patreon. 
For this week though, that is it. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.